morning friends finally finally getting to pick up my excavator it's been over two months after getting the paperwork everything custom clearing you know hiring an agent to get all this stuff complete and finally picking it up in Chicago ports it's about three hours away where you know where I live picking up with the trailer two axle trail it's over two 2024 2500 pounds so you want a two trailer axle if you ever decide to pick up an excavator now plenty of straps also you want to you want to have plenty of straps what's coming in a crate it's coming in a crate so it's gonna get dropped on my trailer and off I go but I figure I make a quick video very excited of course there's gonna be a lot of videos on the excavator how to use it how to maintenance it all the fun stuff you might ask why am I importing this excavator from out of the country it is cheaper not much but you get a nicer newer model and you know you buy from a company that you want instead of buying you know whatever brand you have cheap Chinese brand here and two I have a business so I do need it to move you know rocks and gravels and all stuff and even projects around a house it's not a big excavator it's just it's a mini excavator so it's like a personal use and and it is you know it's a learning curve so once I also learn to import this it might open new opportunities right new business ventures so I figure I'd give it a try also and it's a uh, it's just a good experience a walk good experience and down the road there will be of course plenty of videos of how to use that excavator, how to maintenance it and cool things I can do you know you know with the excavator. there's a lot of a lot of opportunity a lot of nice there's there's a lot of opportunity you can use with the excavator you know there's plenty of stuff you might ask why did I go with an excavator instead of the other, you know, machinery. Excavator is probably your main. It's probably the most like all on one machinery you can use right around the house. You can dig it. You can use it to anchor it. You can use it to uh, move gravel if you need to. It's just a little bit of an all in one machinery, right? I also thought about getting a skid skier. That skid skier is nice, but then you can't really dig it. You know, you can move gravel, you can level ground. That's good. You can kind of do that if you do it right. It's a little bit slower, you know, at leveling the ground. But I, I think I, I did a good choice. So we'll see. We'll see. Like I say, more videos eventually. More how-to video. How you know, uh, how to maintenance it. And there's a learning curve to it. But I'm very excited. So to share with you my journey. My journey and my growth and the fun of it so stay tuned guys okay guys I am here the BDK Express took me about three and a half hours a lot of traffic well construction traffic really I'm walking up here I need to make sure you got your paperwork delivery order and it has to have the pickup number on it so that's very important Yeah. Yeah. Just, just go straight? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. It's a big warehouse. Alright, that was pretty easy. Just get, go in there, give your uh, ID, make sure everything matches up, and then they just uh, grab it. <laughs> Looks like you're probably just waiting until they bring it out and uh, yeah, that's salt to it. It's kind of a little confusing because uh, yeah, some of them didn't really have the English barrier, but, uh, but yeah, they're bringing it out, dropping a, a trailer here. I'm supposed to pick what dock, but I told them just bring it out here because since it's uh, I'm parked right here in front of the overhead door. 
Okay, got everything all strapped up here. I'm using six strap. These are actually 3,000, over 3,000 pound low straps. So they're heavy duty. And Escalade weighs about 2,400, I believe. I'm checking all the tires, checking all the, everything's secure, good. Crisscross chain. I'm gonna double check everything. I already did the brake lights. It's look good, so I think we're good. Good to head out. But once I get out to Chicago, I think I feel a lot better. A lot of traffic, a lot of uh, construction going around here. Tied down pretty good. Let's check it here. You guys can see. Check all the strings, straps, and everything. Make sure they're still good. Pretty tight. Get another move. And I keep on moving. Finally made it back here in Indiana. I'm gonna store this here overnight. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and probably open it. I don't think I'm gonna have, it's about uh, probably four o'clock now, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to open it. So I'm gonna store it here, with the condo, the storage condos, to tomorrow I'm gonna come back and open it. Gives me a little bit of time to kind of play with it and learn with it and then um, probably take it back home. But yeah, it, it wasn't too bad, the drive. Um, there was quite a bit of traffic in Chicago. And um, other than that, it wasn't, you know, you gotta make sure, it helped a lot was you gotta make sure you got your weight even, distribute even. You want your, of course you want your crate in the center and then you also want it to kind of like be more, it should have been a little bit more right uh, up towards the right to get a little bit more weight, but it didn't drive and swore, it didn't swore much, so. And, you know, so when you put this crate on, you want to make sure the weight is very important. Very important, but as you can see, it could have been a little bit more up. But again, like I said, it, it didn't drive too bad. It didn't drive too bad. Have this been, been months, been months to wait. But yeah, there she is. I don't know you can see it. She's gorgeous, beautiful, bright orange. She's heavy duty. Even this is, oh, that, can, that thing's pretty heavy. You hear that metal? 